Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. Alright, so in this tutorial, I'll be covering an awesome plugin called Jetpack by WordPress. What Jetpack does is it brings to self hosted WordPress users great features that were once only available to bloggers who hosted their sites on WordPress.com. Now, for users who have self-hosted blogs, we have access to the powerful cloud computing capabilities of WordPress.com. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to install Jetpack. We're going to authorize it, and then I'll briefly go over its features. Alright, so log into your dashboard. Go over to your side panel. Click on Plugins. Go to Add New. And then you're going to search for Jetpack. Make sure Jetpack is one word, because if you do two words, you won't be able to find it. Okay, so here you go, Jetpack by WordPress. Click Install Now. Okay. Activate the plugin. Okay, so you should see Jetpack by WordPress on your plugins page. You should also see a new menu here on the left. Go ahead and click it. And here are all the features of Jetpack. So before we can actually start using Jetpack, we're going to have to connect it to our WordPress.com account. So go ahead and click this button. Enter in your account info. If you don't have an account, you can sign up here on the right. And authorize Jetpack. Okay, I'm going to briefly go over Jetpack's features. First we have sharing, which will add buttons to your pages like Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, so visitors can easily share your content with their network. Spelling and grammar is a handy. Uh, it'll actually proofread your post after you've typed it and just before you submit it. Subscriptions will add a widget to your sidebar, allowing visitors to receive email updates about your posts. WordPress.com stats is an awesome feature that provides statistics on your visitors. Uh, but what's so great about it is all the data is actually processed and stored by WordPress and not on your servers. And it's free. VaultPress is actually the only feature of Jetpack that isn't free. It's for backing up your WordPress site. And it also comes with a security scan feature. If you click learn more you can see the plans and pricing for VaultPress. Gravatar Hovercards is another great feature of Jetpack. It allows visitors to hover their mouse over a commenter's Gravatar picture and a hovercard with information about that user will be displayed, thereby adding another level of social networking to your site. WP.me short links will shrink your long URLs using WordPress's domain WP.me Short code embeds allows you to easily embed media or create objects in your posts without a lot of complicated code. Beautiful Math allows you to put complex mathematical equations in your posts. Extra sidebar widgets uh, does exactly what it says. Uh, you can add an RSS widget, a Twitter widget, or an images widget in your sidebar. An enhanced distribution will actually take published content from your site and share it with third-party search engines, um, thereby increasing your traffic. Okay, so now we're going to take a closer look at a couple of Jetpack's features. We're going to look at sharing and spelling and grammar, and we'll save the rest of the features for another tutorial. So let's first look at sharing. You can either configure sharing by clicking on this configure button, or you can go to settings. Go all the way down to sharing, and here are the options. So what you're going to see first is a list of the available services. If a service you need is not on this list, you can add it right here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag these down into this space here, and you'll actually be able to preview what your sharing buttons will look like right here. You can choose whether you want to see icon and text. 
icon only or text only. I usually prefer icon and text. You can change your sharing label to something like click me. You can decide whether you want uh, the links to open up in the same window or a new window. And then you can decide where you want these buttons to show. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click post. And here at the bottom, if you want to customize the way the buttons look, you can disable CSS and JavaScript, but you'll have to remember to include those files in your own theme. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's go over to my blog and see how they look. There you go. Alright, now let's take a look at the spelling and grammar feature of Jetpack. You can choose to configure it here, or you can go over to Users and Your Profile. And here are the options for the spelling and grammar feature. Uh, if you click these, uh, the Jetpack will automatically proofread your post um, before you publish or when you update. If you want to make sure you're not using any biased language you can click this, these options or if you don't want to use cliches or if you want Jetpack to make sure you're not posting in passive voice. And down here you can choose words and phrases that Jetpack will ignore. Just make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom and update profile. So let's give this a test. We're going to click on post. I'm going to add a new post. Type in a title. And let's write a post with incorrect spelling. You can either press this button to manually proofread or you can click publish and this box will show up telling you that there's something wrong with your post. You can either proceed or click cancel and fix your mistake. If you right click on the error it'll give you suggestions or you can ignore it. Alright that's it. Thanks for watching. Visit the TotalBounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.